Certified by Weather Rate. Sponsored by AC Designs. All right, I want to start off with a look at the radar here across the first coast. And you know what? For once, for once, friends, it's dry out there. We got plenty of sunshine as well, and that's going to be the case for the rest of the day. Temperatures warming up into the mid to high 80s here. It's looking pretty gorgeous. Our high for our Thursday, 88 degrees. Mostly dry conditions with that sunset at 726 p.m. All right, so maybe you want to get outside. Enjoy this fantastic weather. If you're going to be heading out to uh, downtown Jacksonville, river walks, zip and strolls going on, and temperatures will be into the mid-80s with those partly cloudy skies out there at Friendship Fountain and along the river. Something do note, though, Along the river at high tide, there is all that chance of some low lying coastal flooding, especially in those flood prone areas. If you've been flooded in the last few days because of the king tide, there still is that chance of it continuing even through this evening and heading into tomorrow. In fact, this flood alert does remain in place all the way through Saturday morning. Still dry though, so at least it is given uh, some of these areas time to drain out. Heading into Friday with a high of 86 degrees. We got those dry conditions in our forecast as winds start to switch in from the north and east. Heading into the weekend, if there is a chance of rain in our in our forecast, at least over the next uh, five to seven days, it's probably gonna be Saturday. I do have a little bit of that northeasterly breeze picking up and uh, some onshore flow could bring a few coastal showers, isolated coastal rains there possible, but overall mostly dry, looking nice even heading into Sunday. So get outside and enjoy it here over the weekend. And this is all thanks to that area of high pressure coming in from the north. So you still have a little bit of flow coming on shore. You can see some of those areas in green, but by Monday to Tuesday, that's really going to dominate and even reduce rainfall chances more so heading into the start of next week. But at the same time, we're also turning our attention to the tropics. Now, this is the area we we're talking about earlier that potential right now. The National Hurricane Center gives it a moderate chance of development around the Yucatan. If we do see rain here on the first coast, it wouldn't arrive until probably next weekend. So for now, Pretty much across the board outside of Saturday, I got 30% chance. Everything is really on the low side as far as that rainfall is concerned. And for our first official day of autumn, the fall equinox being on Sunday, weather's looking mostly sunny, nice crisp day out there. Temperatures into the mid 80s, and that continues all the way through next week. So something to look forward to, but of course, we'll keep you posted on the tropics.